probably the most disruptive technology that's just starting to blossom today is this whole notion of cloud computing. Uh, if you look at Business Week magazine last November, they had this young engineer from Google on the cover talking about cloud computing. And it, that was kind of, I think, Silicon Valley's an initiation to this notion of cloud computing. But Google has really promoted this in the fact that they've developed all these Google apps that run in the cloud. So you don't need to have your Microsoft Office you know, on your laptop. Microsoft Office isn't Microsoft Office anymore, it's Google apps that are running in the cloud and now you have you know, storage in the cloud. So th the notion of all you need is a computer that has connectivity to a browser, that's really all you need today, and then you run Google Apps in the, in the cloud, in the ether, you are plug and play, ready to go, compute anywhere. You know, we've been talking about this for 20 years and literally with the advent of, of Google Apps and uh, uh, you know, storage in the ether, it's now become a reality. I think it's probably one of the, the most interesting trends today and certainly in its infancy. Well, today I carry around a $3,000 IBM laptop uh, and a year from now I can carry a much lighter 300 pound web tablet that for example Mike Arrington is is talking about developing in his blog I could I could have all the conveniences and computing power on a $300 web tablet that has nothing on it but a browser um, and carry that around with me instead and not wait for boot up time uh, the, the computer uh, freezing, you know, once a week, all that goes away. And if you think of the international uh, power of this, look at all the countries around the world today where they don't have any installed base of computers. They don't have any applications. You hand out these $300 web tablets where all the computing power is available through the browser from the cloud, that's, that is going to have a huge impact, probably more than even the United States. It's going to bring computing to the masses, which we've been talking about for 20 years. This is going to get it one step closer. Six months ago, nobody was talking about cloud computing the way they are today. That's how quickly these markets blossomed. Three years ago, when YouTube had 50,000 users, you know, people weren't talking about video on the web. These, these trends come to fruition very, very quickly. Facebook, you know, 100 million users. Company didn't exist four years ago. Well, for, for sure, cloud computing is gonna spawn hundreds of new companies because the, there's a standard called Hadoop uh, that's an open source standard that, that, that the cloud computing platform is based on. And you're gonna have hundreds of companies building on that platform, just like MySQL built on the, the, the open standard for, for SQL. In this Microsoft, Oracle, some of the big, you know, embedded software companies are going to be the ones impacted when when all the apps and all the storage moves into the into the cloud well well all of these devices I'm talking about are mobile uh, the, the this web tablet I'm talking about is just a bigger form factor of a phone except you can see a whole page at once and you can uh, transfer it to a, a, uh, a keyboard as well.